Take it away, Giannis. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop. Why? I'm smart. What I call it, smart. A combination of smart and shrewd. I don't like the shtick. And it's my shtick. That's fine. I'm shtick. I'm here for you, Whitney. I'm here to break up dog fights. I'm here to watch you go to the bathroom. I'm here to eat Greek food. I am here. Teach me about Greek food. This has been a whirlwind since I've been here. Give me, let's just introduce. There's dogs everywhere. There's Nova girls everywhere. Kaplan. I don't know who anyone is. I'm learning a lot of names. So this is the puppy for those of you not watching, listening. Um, he's been posted. I just wanted the viewers to see this boy. Look at his little liquid death toy. That's his liquid death toy. Yeah, he's this starting a podcast soon. He's starting a podcast soon. It's called Who Let the Dogs Out. Who Let the Dogs Out. And then out. he drinks his June shine. And then just so everyone can see who we're talking about, because Giannis is about to tell a story about how he saved my life last night. And uh, two of my dogs went at each other over the puppy. And just you can't have two, well, two alphas. There was too many alphas in the kitchen. I'm and, a stigma. I'm a stigma male. Okay. So there's alpha, beta, omega, Sigma. But you were calling it but stigma. But what does a Sigma do? Sigma males are more independent. They're kind of more you know, independent. You so acting, we can pretend you don't have to say you did that. We'll just redo it. Okay, let's redo it. Do you want to act it out? Should we get the dogs back in here? Are you going to want to put on makeup? I am putting makeup on. Okay. Thank you. I think she looks I great. You. No, I'm, it's right here. I just don't want to make noise. Do yes. I need makeup? Um, And then do we want the female braid half the poster in the shot? I think it's fine for now. I'd love to just have Giannis hold it the whole show I in front of his too. face. As you can tell, we're redoing the podcast studio and we're putting all of the things, the fan art, the the stuff that you guys made, brought me after shows. It's just special stuff in my life. I mean, someone made a Lego out of us. And I put it in my ass last I'm night. I'm so afraid. Grab that horse behind you. I slept right next door. To your left, left up. Where? This yeah, one? That's me on a horse. Like, fans make this stuff. Wait, this is you from like a year. This is with pink hair. So this is recent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All this is, that's Ludo from yeah. Labyrinth. We have well, Labyrinth. this is actually multicolored hair. This is your Joker face. Well, that's, those are my pubes. Yeah. My Joker, you mean my I face? Said, well, your my hair, Joker face, you mean my face? No, you look like you're Mrs. Joker. You look like married the Joker. <laughs> I mean, uh, well, I wouldn't marry an inferior comedian to me, so that's, that's true. not true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I would have taken Sam Morell, and uh, who else is in that? He's a good joke Ricky. writer. Yeah, so, Ricky I, Velez. You love you. Ricky Velez. Love Ricky Velez, but we're here to talk about you. We're going to tell these stories as if you don't have to go, Whitney already told me, just tell it. About what happened? Well. This is the funnest time to be a comedian because now that technology has enabled comedians to just call the shots, this is how things happen. It's chaos. Yeah, I just woke up. I slept next door. Patrick, I did another show inside. I broke up a dog fight. So start from the and beginning. And now we're doing another show. Uh-huh. Yeah, start. and you're putting makeup while the show's yeah. happening. This because is what happens when comedians call the shots. Okay, so listen, and women, because the reason women haven't gotten to catch up with you is because we have less time, because you guys debilitated us to make us insecure. So now I've just spent two hours in hair and makeup just to start. Those two hours, I could have shot two more shows, so I'm not going to let putting makeup on like eat into my time right right you know what i mean so i'm just but but this I'm, is better it's unfortunately realer. my makeup artist is sitting in the room so <laughs> holding a dog this is going to be traumatic for her <laughs> but we're gonna do it for when Gigi go just comes i'm up. not leaving this house till i watch you give birth to a dog okay i know it's possible thank you for thinking i'm fertile um <laughs> so okay Giannis comes over yesterday meets nick Okay, him, they're immediately talking about I the, love Nick. the epigenetic imprinting of Boston and coaches and governors that were elected in Boston that were mafia, like... Explain who Nick is. Nick Curzon, my littlest Edie, my Nick, my whatever, best friend, soulmate, real brother, real biological brother, but chosen. And so Nick is, works with me on my specials. He produces my specials. Like he's my like Larry David or maybe I'm Larry David. I can't tell. But um, so Giannis, but why does it gotta be a man? Why do you gotta compare yourself to men? Maybe you're 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 Whitney Cumming. Okay, but Cummings. Cummings. So he just learned last night that my parents. I don't know you. I'm learning got, who you are. Before before they got married, my dad's name was Eric Cummings and my right. mom was Patty Cumming. Right. And they Patty's got, coming. And they got married and it was Patty coming Cummings. Yeah. So then I got made fun of cum shot. I mean, I would get papers back, like tests, and like you'd get the grade A minus my bra size at the time. And <laughs> it would just students like would have crossed out Cummings and just written shot, cum shot, cum fake. Like it was just like, and then um, so I was like, oh, when they got divorced, I was like, I'll take my mom's name and it's coming. But that's the verb, not the noun. Cummings right. is almost better. Right, right. Who cares? Uh, and so you come over. 
Nick is coming over to watch the football game, and he never There's trusts. A lot of coming going on. Yeah, Nick came uh, over. I came none. over. Actually, nobody came. The irony is not. Yeah, there's no coming. My dude, he's so busy stitching my animals together. I'm like, <sighs> yeah. I could have gotten. I'm literally like, should I get <laughs> vaginal rejuvenation just in the amount of time that there's no chance for him to fuck me? And what if he doesn't notice? Uh, apparently, the worst part is the catheter. So, <laughs> look up Jane Marie vag- vaginal rejuvenation. Get and, on it now. Uh, I think it was on Jezebel. Yeah. So you um, come over. Nick. Have you had coffee yet? I just want to make sure because you seem kind of you, low energy. I, by the way, <laughs> off Adderall. I mean, I was on a five milligram. This is dose. all natural right now. It's adrenaline and like what? What office are you going to walk into like this and a, somebody's going to prescribe you Adderall? No, I got prescribed Adderall to sleep so I can focus on sleeping to fall asleep. So because you are walking Adderall, you know yeah. what I'm not taking though. No, I just have been ready for this moment. You're fucking ready. I'm ready for this moment too. Uh, this this is, is bigger than us. This, this moment's is, bigger than us. This is a racehorse that has had, wasn't. I let me in, coach. I'm fucking ready, and I they didn't let me in. They did. Now it's now that were the the game and the, like now that there's no gatekeepers and red velvet rope people, the outsiders now I like, I've been ready right. and I know I only have like a year until someone finds an old tweet that doesn't uh, hold up. Yeah. So this, I got a, I got a, I got like a year and a half, two years. I've it's borrowed time. It's only going to be a tweet with you. Well, no, I did delete mail tweets, but no, I mean, I have it could the be more. first, I, I have, it the could f- be video footage. Well, could be it could be a uh, rolled roast jokes. Yeah, I started from the roasts. Yeah, Jones' p- vagina is so old; her pussy has a separate entrance for black cocks. <laughs> you can find it right now. Is Just that saying? your joke? Yeah, that's a damn good joke. That was my. That's f- very funny. That was in the I think. Yeah, thank you. I just didn't know that. Um, but that because you know nothing about me, and like when we you just met. Decide to Google me. So look. Last time I was here, I didn't even get a chair. Giannis comes over. Nick lets me. He never lets me watch football with him yeah. ever. Well, you barely let us watch football. You had a lot to say. You we realize- had to pause it a lot. We actually didn't watch it when it happened. We had to pause it, and you went, and then you'd give a moment. I went. I mean, your mouth went, and then we would. Did have- I say go up and get the ball gag from the bedside table? Yeah. If no. you can go get it, if you can find it, if we can find it. We can do it. I did have to jam like socks in my mouth to yes. stop talking because I was so excited because the Kansas City hyenas game. Yeah, you're not calling them the Chiefs anymore. They, it's just time. It's this is this is just time. That's all. I come. Is from, Chiefs offensive though? Because it's the top guy. But not all Native Americans have Chiefs. Chiefs, first of all, right? And it's just you're benefiting from all of that. Right. So the Chiefs, regal leaders, that I mean. The fucking chant is like, ooh, like the ch- it's the chant is kind. Of, they do like, yeah, the Braves that, do the chop. But I all think. the money you're making on the jerseys, just me, need, I'm not making. They any just money. need to go clear. Yeah. Uh, uh, is uh, needs to go to the Native Americans, Indian reservations, and getting them fucking health care and their disaster relief. So right now, it we're does. gonna just do. You know what I mean? At least let the Native American women be cheerleaders, like something. Right. You know, I'll watch that game. Right. You know what? L- uh, let an actual Indian chiefs play. Right. I want to watch that game. Right. Right, actual India. Like actual, the team was actual Indians. Actual Indians. So, um, love it. That's my podcast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, long Are we days. on it now? I don't know what's long going on. Long days with Giannis. Are we switching back and forth between no, mine and yours? No. So we're watching this football game. Yeah. Giannis, I know that you're like a history Guy. sports guff, uh, buff. Yeah. But but has a what's the name of your sports podcast? Or Unleashed TV on show? BetMGM. Unleashed, not yeah. by Byron Allen, the other one. Because <laughs> I made it on Unleashed where we did comedy sitting down in front of a shark tank with a yeah. little shark in it. Is it. Was this show called Unleashed? Um, Comics Unleashed. Comics Unleashed. Comics Unleashed, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, uh, what I loved about that show was it was organic. We called it, it, com- organic we called it Comics Leashed. Yeah. Well, the best was when uh, Seth Meyers, I was at a coffee bean once with Neil Brennan and Seth Meyers and, and there was a, a pitch going around at SNL. You might've been working there at the time, Emily, where they wanted to do uh, a sketch that was based on Comics Unleashed because the way that they would do it is you would give them the material. By the way, Byron Allen, we stan. Byron Allen is who mentored me and I have everything He's I have. He's got like a billion dollars. He bought the Weather Channel in cash Yeah, uh, at Mitzi Moore, Shores Memorial, like on yeah. his phone. Um, he bought the, he, I think he thought he was buying the weather, but he bought the Weather Channel. Um, <laughs> he's like, oh, I thought- uh, The just... Jews aren't ready to sell the weather yet. <laughs> That they took from the Native Americans? <laughs> yeah, they're, it's just, they. it's one thing they want to keep. So keep me on track. <laughs> so you come over. I never get to watch football with Nick. He doesn't let me because I can't stop running my fucking whore mouth. And <laughs> I realized that I'm stumbling into one of the greatest games of all time. It was, yeah, it was definitely one of the greatest games of all time. We watched it after just it happened. Just give me a two sentence thing. They go into, uh, what happened? It two was sentences. incredible. Two seconds. Two it, sentences. Th- 13 seconds left, tied the game, one in overtime. 
crazy. Two, that was two sets. Crazy. So yeah. I have we're gonna, I have a video of Giannis watching it, and I could tell by his face, like, we're witnessing something, some greatness here. It was incredible. What's happening, Giannis? This is one of the greatest television it's shows. Insane. What's happening? Real-time the feedback. Bills. What just happened? The Bills just scored a touchdown with 13 seconds left. Buffalo has a reason to not kill themselves. I mean, this is Because in that city, this is all they have. This is all they have in Buffalo. Niagara Falls. No, they have um, they have the General Mills. And whoever's at the, the, the club there. That's it. <laughs> oh, my God. What is going on? What is going on? What the fuck? Why? This game is demented. He is. Why are these guys so open? And then when there was, it was on the fence and uh, ambiguous who was going to win, mm -hmm. we bet. We bet. And we won a lot of money. No, we no, lost a lot of I money. Don't know I, how just, to bet. I don't know where you're going with this. Can you do we with Bitcoin bet. now? Bitcoin? Can we start Bitcoin? We can start Bitcoin. Though just betting. Why don't we with start? How about Whitney Coin? No, because that is what um, uh, Sinclair Oil and the oil companies used to do. You couldn't build wealth because they would basically pay the miners in vouchers for the Sinclair Oil store. So I don't just, want. I don't want Whitney dollars if it's only for stuff I sell. Well, why don't you just tell the people that Bitcoin, that tulips were the original Bitcoin? Well, no, here's the other thing. We let you guys invent a value system and mm -hmm. you failed. You right. guys chose wealth to be based on gold. So I mean, you guys is men? Whatever, your ancestor. You didn't. Yeah, you I, were my ancestors You were, were fucking in Greece. In Turkey, I, yeah, getting you slaved were, up. Yeah. That's right. Sorry, sorry. You're right. Yeah. So the. the Whoever, I don't have anything to do with any of this. But that you know what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, okay. I, I'm saying you guys. And I you were in West Virginia. You probably got some, some weird stuff in your history. <laughs> well, I, I, well, I mostly drank uh, DuPont Teflon water. So it's just, <laughs> it's brain damage. It's my CTE. <laughs> so whoever invented the bank system, I hate saying like straight white cis men. That's not fair. But basing on, on gold, something you can't eat or build with. Right. And something that only has value that we trained women to want it. Right. And well, then, you got a lot of it now. And then, uh -huh. well, and then you decided, okay, there's going to be these buildings, these banks that has a bunch of gold in the closet, and yet the people working at the front are making ten dollars an hour. I just don't like any of it. And then you guys decided the next currency was. You keep was, saying you guys. You know what I mean. But you're. But like, why don't? Why are you them, making me feel guys, good? Those guys. Those guys. Those guys. I'm on I'm, your side. I know you are. Yes. I know you I'm are. With you. I'm I ready know. for this revolution. That's why you're Whitney. in here. Yes. That's why you're in here. I'm your first captain you're in this revolution. You're grandfathered in. You get to. You get to. Grandmothered in. You get to stay. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the same as yes. If coal mining and oil is going to be replaced, we have to make sure the coal miners and the oil people have trades to have jobs. Bless you. What happened? He pee on you? Sneezed. Not yet. Oh. Oh, sneezed little puppy. So, um, so then the next form of currency and value they decided was baseball cards. Yeah, that's so valueless. now forgive me if and then the banks that you guys that they made, um, uh charged me to be poor right so if i overdraft seven dollars you're charging me sixty dollars right you're charging me to be poor now it, i can never get out of it it just makes everyone a, a debt in debt kind of it's like an enslaving system yeah Ma makes and people. if we all took our money out at the same time they'd be for hook we should make something that has value inherent value water the should we base it on water jason momoa's hair strands <laughs> by the way biggest career achievement Gave me my phone. Dave Grohl texted me an article where there, the there Jason Momoa uh, story um, of being of breaking up or whatever the divorce with Lisa Bonet. So when I got engaged before Jason Momoa, which time? One time. Uh -huh. How dare you? So one time. This is okay. So this is why the robots are not going to take over, and we don't have to worry oh, too they much. They're going to take over. Not yet. Not yet. So this is what the article came up. So there was a um, story I told about how when I got proposed to, Jason Momoa was is across the street, like from the farm that I got, and he was like working out. And there was a, a guy who was secretly taking photos of the engagement, um, my ex's friend, and Jason Momoa was working out on the street and thought it was a paparazzi because he was hiding in the bushes. So it was a guy that was hiding in the bushes to take photos of me for my proposal. And Jason Momoa was like, hey, man, what are you doing? And he was like, like, if Jason Momoa does, you're like, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. And so I almost didn't get my engagement photos. Or like, we didn't we didn't get it the first time because he was too afraid. And then we had to restage them. <laughs> so then there's an article that comes out. That this is just a headline. Show that too. But look at the Momoa's photos. Momoa's marriage is more bizarre than you thought. But it's me and him. 
Oh, that's you? Why aren't you paying attention? I, the hair color's different. It's you tough. Were, I, it was, you're, this is when you were brunette. I will stop the show right now if you need to Google me. Do you need to five minutes? No, I know who you are. So obviously a Russian bot wrote this article. You look great there, too. Thank you. I'm going yeah. back to brown hair tonight. But tonight. <laughs> did they just go in the algorithm? It was like Whitney engagement. Like, why is not Lisa Bonet? Or do I just look like I have dreadlocks? Do I look like what? Why did they do this? I don't know. It's That's like a good a, question. The yeah. robot did it. Yeah, robot did it. They don't, they, we're not there yet with the robots. Yes. So we watched the greatest game of all time. We're, we order the most incredible Greek food from After Tarzana. After I got a tour of your library, which is actually incredible. I love it. It's, not a lot, it's more of a sitting room with books. It's a, it's a vintage book collector. What would you call that room? Required reading for the greats. Now, are we going to go down there and chill after this and have moments for us? Because that was the whole point of that room. Because you said, this is what you said to me. You said, we spend too much time making content, content, content. Everything's filmed. Comedians need to just go, sit, no cameras. Well, I didn't say it that. Read all those books. In our, we, we I have, didn't say it that art, inarticulately. Not and, that and inarticulately. I, I think I was more elegant and said, the reason- You definitely I, said it quicker and more manically. Is the that what you said? <laughs> I don't know if it was more articulate. It was definitely more manic. How is it that I have Botox and my muscles are frozen and I still talk faster than you? Um, <laughs> drugs? <laughs> I am on, actually, I went off Prozac because right. Grace is my Kansas City chief of staff. You know, Grace is from Kansas City. So I say she's- There's a lot of people here. I'm trying to remember who's who. We switched pharmacies. So. I mean, there was like three construction workers in my room this morning. <laughs> They were building my bed as I was sleeping. Um, and, and I think there's two dogs here that you don't know about. What do you think Cleopatra's <laughs> house looked like? Yes. There were a lot of people running around yes. doing shit. I needed this. I'm a boring but married man and I've been in a fun house. And so I know this is also based on uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse. I love this. I love this. Um, is this based on Pee Wee's Playhouse? Well, I think you just made that up. I know. I grew up on. So no, it's based on the kitchen from Weird Science. Oh, is it? And then. But that's Weird Science, not Pee Wee's Playhouse. Well, but, uh, Okay. You gotta pick one, Whitney. But no, I, no, I What's don't. What's it based See, on? See, that's 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 where you're wrong. Two I'm things can be true at once. Okay. We can be in inspired by multiple things: Joan Rivers and George Carlin and Rodney Dangerfield. And then that we, because we can't duplicate other people, we have to take what we like and leave the rest from everyone. So. Weird science is part of the inspiration. And then all the toys, because I was like, can I do a podcast too that just has fucking tchotchkes everywhere? Does that look dumb and crazy? And I was like, wait, no, let's be Mr. Rogers. Um, so let's get back to this because I I just feel like Emily's just aging. We're aging her unnecessarily. No, it can't be worse than <laughs> so her time start at the, SNL. So then we're having this best, the best time uh, watching this game. We order an incredible Greek meal. You ordered the restaurant. You didn't order the meal. <laughs> you just said, bring what you have. <laughs> The amount of food that came last night, I was like, Whitney, are you expecting more people? Is there any left? Uh, is there any left? I'm sure. I'm sure. I don't want. I want to know if the restaurant is still in Alex, business. Alex, they ate, have no more inventory. Alex came home from an emergency surgery. My right. man. He came home right at the right moment when he we we almost needed to do emergency surgery on animals. The timing when you do the work, the, God does the rest, or the universe, whatever you think. And so. Um, what a night is what you're saying. What we a night. had quite a night. Firehouse we Taverna Authentic Greek Cuisine. Giannis thought, told me what to order, taught me the words, had this incredible meal. During the meal, I did need to do a little dog training. You did need to do a little dog training. Yes, you did a little dog training during a, the meal. I she a, got up from supper. We were having supper. And uh, in her in her dining room, there's a door that leads right outside. And she, we have a new little puppy here. We don't, Twelve we, weeks still. It should be with his mom, learning from his mom. He's the cutest little puppy. We haven't named him yet. Breeder, breeder dropped him off. Uh, he had Parvo, a horrible pit bull breeder, who breeds like Ferraris dogs. Like these dogs are um, bred to fight. Had Parvo had already cut his ears and took it to the vet where my uh, boyfriend works and said, um, "Well, he runs the fucking place. I need to choose my words." I love your boyfriend. I need we were talking all night. He's, Kid is smart. Kid is smart. Humbling. And and a good looking kid. Can do the New York. And I like his haircut. It looks like someone just put a bowl over his head and cut the sides. Peaky blinders. Yeah. Old peaky blinders. When he allows me to like, so I will get there and I'm not going to force it, but I just want bald with a beard. So when he's ready. You want him to shave it all off. I just want bald with a beard. That's my shit. Buzz cut with a beard. Navy seals only. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Well, he doesn't, Navy like, seals, you, I don't think he's ever going to get to Navy you seal. you and Theo, you guys got to stop with the hair transplants. We want you bald. <laughs> <laughs> We want this is it. all natural. Uh, by actually. the way, I know. Yeah. Fucking you and Stamos yeah. go to the same guy. I know. Yeah, we, well, no, I go to my mother in law. I think he has a team. Yeah. But, but it's, we're scooping it forward a little bit. What happens when you scoop it back? It's, you know, I'm here. You know what? 
it's that's there. it's moving forward it's receding forward yeah no it's yeah i got a good hair yeah. so we um so i go out the eat so training puppies i'm trying to put as much of it on my instagram right now but just guys be patient with me as i edit a video together training puppies is one of the hardest things for people if you don't have the time do not get a puppy um you should come out with your own book on how to do it because i've never seen someone do it as hands-on as you do it you get in there you mean as quickly you become a dog so you are the you were the dog's mother and so during dinner she said hold up one second i did the puppy's got to go out to pee and then whitney went outside and she peed with the puppy. Well, no, I peed. And you then the peed to show the puppy. Yeah, you peed <laughs> to show we the pee. puppy how to pee. So she squatted down. And I said to Nick, Nick was sitting there. And Nick goes, she goes, I'm going to go out and pee with the, show the, show the puppy how to, that, to pee. And I'm going to pee first. And Nick goes, I don't think you have to do that. And then he's going, I don't think you do that. And my back is to it. And I went, is she peeing? And Nick goes, he went, yeah. He goes like this. Yeah, she's peeing. And so I just turned around real quick and yeah, Whitney was peeing and showing the dog how to pee. You also told me that you like to sometimes pee just to sort of mark the territory for the coyotes to so let you, let them, you let the coyotes know that this is your territory. That, so if they, do smell you ever shit in corners of your property? Well, what did I do when we saw that shit on the ground last night? You picked it up with your hand and I don't think you washed your hand until after the dog fight. Well, what I do is I, so when my... <laughs> So what you missed this morning, so he the, the dog started peeing, so I slid into first base. Yeah. Got the poop as it was coming out. <laughs> Emily from before went, Emily, I caught some and she just quit. Have just, you has that has, does she have you ever watched her train the dog how to pee? When she pees? Emily's writing her um is looking for other jobs. So I picked up the um poop and I just throw it over the fence so they know this well is you have to walk it down a long way you held that poo in your hand for a long time and I before did. you walked it down to throw it over the fence you were talking to me for a, a, like a couple of minutes and I said Whitney you know like because you were waving the poo around it was in your head you were telling me about why it's the easiest way to pick up poo is just to and I was you were like you're not going to waste the you said I'm not going to waste the napkin on this this is the quickest way to do it and it's the least because when you take and pick up a shit with a napkin you jam it into the Right, carpet. so that was a way. You wait for it to dry, just give it two hours, and you just pick it up with your hands. Yeah. So and then that last night, remember, there was one in there, and I just put it down the toilet. And yes, like, what? that was another way you could do it. Yeah. So then we're having this amazing night. We're like, here's the book shot. Like, <laughs> Bob Saget passed away. Like, we lost Louis Anderson. Like, we now need to step up and be the leaders, and right. we're uniquely designed for it. Okay, you greet God. Yeah. You, you have experience with fucking animals, pit bulls. Like you've done the work and you're at your ascension. Like we're the Rodney Dangerfields. Like we need to be leaders. And I'm, and we're, I'm like, and then we're, and then we're talking about the the library. We're going to sit around and read the books of the greats and learn. And because we need to do our homework. You're right. history hyenas, so you know more. But I need to study, right. study up, right? Because the history books I read have all been debunked. I've, I've I don't know anything. And so my dad, uh, uh, Eric Cummings, like he would. This is where I come from. Mm -hmm. So everyone who's like Whitney and her hot takes and her da da da, like she's. Who like that's your emotional reaction to me? I get it. It's not my job to be liked. It's my job to be neutral and defend both sides. Right. Right. It should feel dangerous, and you should. Some we people, should do that. I think we shouldn't be left or right. We should be comedians. You'll you'll yeah. in three years you'll go. Oh, I know what she was trying to say. Right. I know where she was going with that. Right. Even if I don't do it perfectly. You're like the Kanye West of comedy. Benton. Yeah. Would you like <clears throat> to say something? Yeah, I would love to say that it's time to take a break from y'all. <laughs> <laughs> the people. Your the people need to. <sighs> Ooh. Here's something else. They need to unclench their butt cheeks. And they need to learn about, you know, the importance of Manscaped. They need a break from wincing. I like Manscaped, but I've been watching a lot of cheer. And so I did write a cheer about Manscaped. Cheer I thought on we Netflix. Could really, we could really pump this up. Okay, so good. who am I? Um, Jerry? You're on, you're not on the mat. <laughs> <laughs> you're not on the mat, so if you could just cheer from the sideline. Okay. <laughs> the cheer. Trim your weenie, trim your chest, and you will get to see more breasts. <laughs> Woo! Yes! I am so, so impressed that I'm speechless. That's not good mad talk. <laughs> when have I ever been speechless? <laughs> it's never happened. Well, Valentine's Day is coming up, and we know just the gift for you to give that special someone for an all special occasions. This Valentine's Day, it's time to give him a gift that four million men worldwide trust from Manscaped. Valentine's Day is going to happen whether you like it or not. We can do it the easy way or the hard way. Right. Everything that you want to complain about is going to happen regardless. Let's just make it as smooth as possible. And if you put on this fragrance, 
chill doing it the hard way. Manscaped is the leader in below waist grooming. Use Whitney's exclusive offer. Go to manscaped.com and use code Whitney for 20% off and free shipping. Treat him and yourself to the formulations that will have him smelling good. Even if you lost your sense of smell due to COVID, it smells good. I spray it on my body pillow. Also, Make sure his body also smells good with their signature scent, the Manscaped Refined Cologne, to complement his collection, featuring a light citrus burst that settles with anchoring notes of vetiver and a woodsy masculine finish. (laughs) Manscaped created products that they're actually going to use after Valentine's Day. Go to manscaped.com for our exclusive offer of 20% off plus free shipping with the code Whitney. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code Whitney at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code Whitney. Gift Cupid and Arrow from Manscaped this Valentine's Day. A boner joke. <laughs> so, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I'm psychic. <laughs> Call me now for your free reading. <laughs> I know, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking. I, I know what your dad's thinking. <laughs> I know what your mom's thinking. And if you don't know, I'll tell you. We're going to talk about Athletic Greens, guys. <laughs> this is our next say, sponsor. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> How did these people get all this energy? What mm-hmm. powers this team of mental athletes, not physical at all, <laughs> uh, mental athletes? I have a sleep injury. I have the body of a weightlifter, <laughs> baby. <laughs> our next partner has a product that Whitney uses literally every day. And so do I, because she has a lot of it at her house. When you think mental clarity, you think Whitney Cummings. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. <laughs> you think alertness, Whitney Cummings. Focus, <laughs> Whitney Cummings. <laughs> Staying on topic, not interrupting, mental clarity, Whitney Cummings. <laughs> and that's because of Athletic Greens. It supports <laughs> mental clarity and alertness. Tons of people take some kind of multivitamin. It's important to choose one with high quality ingredients that your body will actually absorb. No point in taking it if your body doesn't absorb it. And to be clear, you do have to actually ingest the athletic greens. You can't just pour it on the floor and roll around in it. Doesn't absorb that way. You're investing in an all-in-one nutritional insurance. It right now, it's time to I reclaim try. your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into cold and flu season. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D <laughs> and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit it. it. AthleticGreens.com slash Whitney. A year supply. Again, that is AthleticGreens.com slash Whitney to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. And I know we are thinking, how do I see more of this and in person? Well, Carolina Theater, fret not. We're going to be in Durham at the Carolina Theater in North Carolina on the 29th of this month. February 3rd, we'll be in Charlotte, North Carolina, another city in the same state at the Knight Theater. February 4th, we'll be in Charleston, South Carolina at the Charleston Music Hall, peddling our wares and dazzling the masses. February 5th, we'll be in Wilmington, Delaware at the Grand Opera House. We get it. It's grand. It's in Wilmington. That's obvious. Oh, so shitty. Ocean City. Here I come. That's Rehoboth in Beach represent. Lost my virginity outside the grottos. <gasps> February 10th, Cincinnati, Ohio, Taft Theater. He loves titties. See you there February 1 11th February 11th Bethlehem Pennsylvania is that a religion Be- at the Wind Creek Event Wind Creek Event Center at the Fart Center <laughs> that's uh, a ceremony the Wind Creek Event it's an event yeah. it's an event center <laughs> but it's also an event I. it's called the Wind Creek Event Center so we are doing uh, this like we're going to start a podcast together called Book Club we are. Me, you, a couple of people, we cliff we, notes. I think we started about 14 podcasts yesterday. We started a couple of businesses. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we started a couple of businesses. Yeah. And um and so then I'm tr- I'm trying to get the order of the new puppy cuz Mona's the alpha, uh Frank is the beta, Daisy's the omega mm-hmm. and like integrating a new puppy is very complicated especially if you have powerful dogs. Giannis says he's a sigma. Sigma male. And what is that exactly? Uh an independent male, kind of is his own kind of away from the pack, wanders right. alone, hunts alone. But he kind of can still pop in and out and breed and can take care of himself. Yeah, he still comes in, you know, flirts with a couple of the chicks. If someone wolves. needs him, he'll he'll 
he'll he doesn't care about the pack. He just and if it's the, worth it. Yeah, you know, if the allegiance will come in. If you need me, I'm there. Like I was for you last night. Yes, you're the stigma. I was there. Yeah, Stig- I'm the stigma male. <laughs> the stigma. <no. laughs> um, so I, I go, thought you were getting attacked by a mountain lion. That's what it sounded like. That that day's coming. I didn't know what was going on. And you know what, mountain lion, bring it on because I need something to fuck up my face in like two years. So I have an excuse I mean, for a facelift. If, that ever makes the news that Whitney got into a fight with a mountain lion? I, 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 you could win that fight. You've been practicing. You've been peeing on floors. You've been, you've been shitting on the ground. You're ready. You know how you win a fight with a mountain lion? Shit at it. You don't play. The oh. only way to win is to not play. You give it its space. It wants nothing to do with you. We don't taste good. Right. Maybe if I'm on my period, they'll sniff twice. But they, <laughs> if you get eaten by a mountain lion or bitten by a rattlesnake, it is your fault. Will bop, bop, bop work if they come? Bop, bop, bop. <sighs> You Which probably, do your fans know that 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 is that's from the show? But really, that's you scare coyotes off by yelling "pop, pop, pop." They know that though. Yeah, they do know that. Okay, they know good. that. But I didn't know that till yesterday, and I don't think it works. I don't think you should recommend to people that if they're getting attacked by coyotes, that you just yell "pop, pop, pop." I don't know if the coyotes are going to go. Okay, <laughs> but here's my bad. what you're doing. I didn't know I was dealing with a stigma male. So peeing, it also is good for deer. So in Rona, Virginia, it's not good for dinner parties. I don't recommend you do that if you have. It people was pretty over. much over. It was over. I was still eating some tzatziki. We weren't on a date. <laughs> no, we weren't on a date. Nick was there. This is family. Oh, that was, yeah, I mean, that was. I think he would have known. I think he's gonna pee anyway. I don't think you had to pee. No, he would have peed in here. No, but I don't think you need to pee. I yeah, I do because watching you. <laughs> yeah, and then he sees that I pee and then pees and then it's he's I think you, you should you should do your own like Are you crying? instructional. Yeah, I'm crying. <laughs> Why don't you do your own like because you got your own style. I know. She definitely has her own now style. That's where there. my pee is. Yeah, so. you should do your own like Caesar. That's Manche the paper she wiped with when she peed <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> you got to become a dog. You know what I mean? Like the teacher. No, you're right? the lead, the alpha. So dog. we can pause Anyhow. this. So and that then, was after she peed outside. And then the link I just sent is the coyote one in yeah. no rush. So you, ah, you God, do I'm it. Crying, so deer, laughing, thinking about it. So deer, so in, in Virginia, many places, hunters leave food out mm-hmm. so that the, the deer, it's cheating. Mm-hmm. So my ring camera caught it. Have people seen this before? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's on my Instagram. You look like the girl from Ring. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, new from Numering. So these are the two places they come. So that's it. Yeah. The ring camera just shit right there. Look, do you see it shitting? And then I go to where it shit. See yeah. the piece of shit? Yeah, no, I get it. I it. Yeah, no, I, I, no, I get it. I get it. Well played. I, uh, yeah. So um, I get what you're doing. I get what you're trying to do. So there. then you're I'm, getting in with the animal world. You have to become because we are animals, though. That's we are. the mistake we, we made. We, we totally are. Yeah. I I started thinking, oh, h- h- look at humans for leadership, and yeah. I looked at all these toxic bosses do <sighs> it wrong, and then you go, no, you take the lessons from the wolf pack and the lessons from the herd. Right. They figured this out thousands of years ago. Right. Just right. do what they do. So instead of going, don't pee inside. Why are you peeing inside? Oh, you do, you can't do that. That They don't understand what you're saying. You have to speak their language. Right. So when you go in, you, when you go to Vietnam, you I don't, have you no don't, plans on that. Yeah, me either, but yeah. I, I went and I, I went to see Ha Long Bay and do Operation Smile, the cleft uh-huh. palate, and I got so freaked out by seeing babies smoking on the street that I had to go home. Uh-huh. Um, and so, but you just be the animal. You learn their language. So if you're going to go to, if I'm going to go to Greeks, Greeks, Greece. Yeah. I'm not going to just yell English louder. I'm from America. I go, I have to learn something. You have to learn Greek. I just communicate with them, but it's all body language with Yeah. So I'm trying to ingratiate. Are you saying I should learn if I I would learn Vietnamese and, or who am I, what animals am I acting like in Vietnam? Because you said I go to Vietnam. No, I'm saying when you talk to Vietnamese people, they're they're humans, they're equals, they're not animals. But we are animals. You said we are animals. Okay. You said you got to be like the You're animals. right. Okay. Yeah. So, so I'm going to have, so you're, so you still call cigarettes fags. Am I fags? allowed to do you that? You still call cigarettes fags. Do I still call them? If I'm in England, it's not a big deal. <laughs> and you have a time machine. Yeah. Well, no, they still do it over there really? in England now. But, they mean, they mean sick. <laughs> Can we get back to the dog? But yeah, we're the getting dog to it, fight. But this yeah. is how we tease out the tension. So we, uh, I go upstairs. <laughs> yeah. Time so flies with you. I, I go upstairs. That's why we need to make a time machine. Yeah. Put the dog upstairs. Mona, the alpha, and the puppy are playing. It all worked. I, I, I did all the rules of the pack. I turn around because my Omega Daisy is like scurrying to go into her place yeah. where she sleeps on the floor because she's lower in the pecking order. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to film it. This is my mistake. 
I'm, I, I get distracted. But no, well, no, I was also because I want to do a puppy training video. So I'm right. filming it and then I turn around because I'm like, what if this door behind me is not open? That would give Mona the opportunity to, if Daisy can't get in and she scurries around, Mona's going to get her. So I turn around to open the door. And by the time I turn 30 degrees back, Mona has already flown off the bed, gets Daisy by the neck. And thank God it was up against a wall. So I'm trying to get in between them. And it's, it's Daisy's mouth is just in her, all her jowls. And then, yeah. So, and then Giannis saves my life. Go. The stigma male came to the rescue. I heard, you know what? He, he, the real stigmas. Yeah. Don't take their sneakers off till right before bed because you, you never, never know. know what's going to happen. And that's why I don't wear flip flops because you never know when shit's going to go down. So this that's a man. That's a Brooklyn, New York trick. You just always got to be ready. You never know. You sleep in Brooklyn. your sneakers. I, mean, I sleep in my sneakers. Yeah, I sleep in my sneakers. You never know what's going to happen. Sprints in. I sprint. So not I hear, a muscle on his body. Not that's a it. muscle on my bed. Just fat flobbing everywhere. <laughs> As I ran, you could no, just you see look ripples. Good. I told Do you I that. Look all right. Yeah. You look great. Thank you. Um, I just hear a commotion upstairs. I don't know what's happening. No, it's I didn't down know. the hall. You're down here. Oh, yeah. I was like all the way down there. I was like looking at my phone and I hear just Whitney screaming and I hear bangs. There was just bangs on the wall and I go in there and it was just two pit bulls locked on each other. It was like a real bad fight. And then me and Whitney broke them up. We broke up the fight. We got Daisy and Mona apart, but there was blood everywhere. There's blood on my bed. I slept with it. Because I'm a stigma male. But there is blood on that bed. You just skipped like five good parts of the story. I don't know what else there is to say. There was blood. There was a fight. What was I yelling when you came in? You said, oh, yeah, that part's good. So, I, you know, you're supposed to pull the hind legs when, you know, you don't, you don't want to put your hand in there. Whitney's Giannis hand was all in there. Whitney has no fear. She's in the animal kingdom. There was two pit bulls. Their jaws were locked. And Whitney's hand, I just saw Whitney's hand in there. Because I was thinking about Emily going, if I, because I almost lost a thumb the last time this happened. Yeah. My right thumb, the thing that made us evolve to be dominant species. Right. I don't have a fucking right thumb. I can't put necklaces on. I can't. I can't zip zippers. I'm just like an invalid. This is when I was in the Portland shows with Renan Hirschberg, uh, Healy in Portland. I had a fucking tourniquet on my finger. Right. I couldn't, how do I masturbate without my right thumb? And then- <laughs> and Is then, that what you use, the thumb? But I think about Seems Emily, I, like I thought about Emily and Grace because I was like, if I lose a hand, like we're, the tour is canceled. We're, like I was just like, I, I, we've worked too hard to get here. So I was trying to do a fist and I started just wearing these rings. Yeah. So Mona got me a couple times, but it hit these rings. These are vintage ring, Native American rings. You're and so lucky. I, I did get lucky. Yeah. But I, I lucky that you were staying with me. So Giannis yes. came immediately, picked up the back legs because that's the first thing you want to yeah, do. Yeah, you want to get the back legs Of and the back. one that is getting attacked because yeah. if you do that, their head goes to the ground. So then- the dog's attacking the head yeah. instead of the jugular. So you just want to, you know, so we were trying to pull them apart. And uh, and then Whitney goes, stick your finger in her ass. <laughs> I meant my ass. <laughs> and By you the know way, what? I also said butthole. Yeah, yeah or something. Yeah. And uh, I did take a moment to take that in, even though we were like literally, in the throes of like He literally chaos. was like. I was he, like, what? He thought about it literally. Like, <laughs> I was like, who's that? Stick a finger. And, you know, it, it's quite a challenge. I'm not cheating on my wife out yeah, here. Yeah, I'm not, you know. And it's also quite a challenge to kind of locate the asshole, like, because they're fighting. Yeah, once you do, it's, so that's yeah. the thing. The finger in the asshole, it's funny to joke about. It's not possible, really, because unless you have three people helping you and one can yeah, do it. Yeah, you can't really find it. Well, it's just, it's just you know. Yeah, it's too much movement. And they were really going at it. And we, we got them apart, thank God. We pulled them apart. I don't, like, yeah, like. And then we did a lot of heavy breathing. <laughs> We were just like, because ah, it was like intense. It was an intense dog fight. What would have happened if you weren't here? Uh, that's sad. But it, yeah, if I wasn't here, I think, yeah, unfortunately. Daisy some, would be dead. Some do they, they wouldn't have stopped. They would not have stopped. Daisy would be dead. I'm a dog lover, so it's tough. But yeah, that-, that And that, I, would ha I would have an even weirder face than I have now. You might have got- you might have caught some collateral damage, but definitely they would not have stopped. They were locked in on each other. Yeah, I mean, that fight was all out. So then Daisy's bleeding. Um, they both got hit, right? So yeah. Mona got hit on the head and Daisy, her tooth, like the, yeah, it was, yeah. So her, Daisy's, so here's the good thing about these. And she had just lost 12 pounds, which she was, when your dog is overweight, you're taking years off his li her life or his life. Or uh, the dogs identify. I don't know how they identify, but um, so because it puts pressure on their, especially small dogs, on their joints, and so then they it, 
Oh, we can take that down. Um, thank you. Emily's not loving it. Emily's not loving it. And so um, I'm not loving That's it. That's just some I'm of the not words. loving a picture of Giannis. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I have this, I'm loving it. I have the same reaction. My podcast, Long Days. And then so, um, uh, sorry, I, this does make me a little emotional, but. Um, we were there though. No, we saved the day and they're fine. So they're. We were lucky. No, I'm just saying because they were bred to fight. Yes. So they were bred to have big jowls, which are designed so that they can't get to the jugular. So right. I just think about all the dogs that, you know. And so she had just lost 12 pounds. Uh, which means she had more skin. So if I hadn't done the right thing and made her lose weight, which was like, I hate, because I'm a feeder. I'm like, I love you, I love you. Please know I love you, you know? But it makes them fat and kills them. So, and no feeding dogs bean pe beans, peas, or lentils because that's what's fucking up their hearts. And I made that mistake. And because I was like, we give dogs vegetables so we don't kill cows. They need the taurine from grain and they need fucking meat. The beans, peas, and lentils is giving dogs heart disease, which is why I have two pit bulls that are on fucking sodalol and Pimo Bannon for their heart. So um, don't don't listen to influencers on Instagram for your vet care, please. Yeah. Um, and so, um, and Rogan had in his last special, I thought that do cats can't be vegan. <laughs> it was like a kid, someone had a vegan cat or something. And um, so Daisy's got blood that's like viscous. Like, you know that blood that's like, mixed with something and I'm like is it like is that like we didn't know where the wound was because it was just blood coming, on her nose on her face but, but the blood yeah. I thought it was like he bubbling out of his no her nose like it was like and I was like oh god this is it like Daisy I was like Mona got like her brain or something and like it's a brain bleed like I was just like uh, this is it like this is where I get to have a heroin addiction and it just starts and it's over and I'm just I'm just it's done like I'm done um if I'm why this dog got attacked because I was fucking not paying attention um, or trying to multitask when I was supposed to, I, when I, because it was the second I looked away from her, flew her Ridgeback fucking DNA. They used to herd lions, Ridgebacks. Yeah, no, they're tough. You know, the only motherfucker that can beat a honey badger? Ridgebacks are tough. The only one if it's a, yeah. if the, so they used to herd lions. There's videos of them herding like five, six female lions. Don't fuck with them. Yeah. So and she's like more. She's pit too. She's like and then yeah, pit. pit. So she's yeah. got the protective of babies because pits evolved to protect babies. They're the they're the nannies. So they also evolved to what was the number one thing that killed babies thousands of years ago? Hyenas. Maybe in Africa. Yeah. Rats. Oh, I was because gonna... rats would give them, bite them and give them diseases. So or that's why in the walls, if they hear, you know, English lords, whatever. It was, <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. So um, counts. Yeah. Well. Sultans. Yeah, I was going to say. Roman well, emperors. Still can be started. Um, on pitbulls need to be pleased dogs. It's a whole thing. Um, but uh, so. Then your then your boyfriend comes home. So I just like, have. And he's I a made, vet. I finally made one good choice in yeah. life. <laughs> and. He came home with, with like rubber gloves on. Like he's <laughs> I didn't even ready. tell him. I didn't even tell him it happened. Yeah. He's I didn't give him a heads timing. up. Yeah. I was just. Well, he had an emergency surgery. He was supposed to be home at eight. So I'm just like, update him when you're going to get home. Don't tell him. We clean him out with saline solution. Yeah. We clean Daisy's wounds. Yeah, you did. I had antibiotics, so I gave her two antibiotics. When you have a dog bite, the number one thing is the teeth are so inf um, have so many so much bacteria on them. Yeah. Just antibiotics soon. Don't worry. The wounds, you, you will not know which wound is a problem because the superficial ones are often deep. And the biggest mistake a lot of vets make is they try to sew it up. It sews in the infection. Yeah. They abscess again. Where was Nick throughout this whole thing? Hiding. <laughs> <laughs> yelling in the uh, yelling around the yard because we couldn't find the puppy. Oh, we were looking for the puppy, and the puppy. Yeah, the puppy. I go, don't, but see, you're telling the ending. This I'm you're not. Sorry, I'm jumping around. Is it because I know rushed, you don't like to do that? You like to stay you're, coherent. You're blue. You're spoiler. You're spoiler right. I'm alert. A spoiler. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah. We're missing like two beats that are going to make that even better. I'm sorry. It's okay. We're rushing. Yeah. Um, I did not waste 15 years of my life learning how to make television. <laughs> um. Uh, to not know how a story should be told is my only- I'm jumping all my over only the place. No, it's good because we're trying to do Cliff's Notes and that's our other podcast. Right. That's a <laughs> so <laughs> we, yeah, we work Cliff I'm Notes like, too. but but you're you're speeding me up though and I'm slowing you down. We're you're, perfect team. Yeah, ironically. Um, and so I'm like, Nick, find the puppy. Because I go, it's downstairs getting eaten by a coyote. It ran downstairs. A coyote's now killing the puppy. And then I went, he's in the pool. 
Yeah. Because I was in a fire as a kid. The worst thing that could happen always happened. So I just go, bam. I would, it would never have occurred to me that the puppy was just hiding under the bed. Yeah. Right? And so then uh, Nick's running around the yard. I got to find the ring camera footage because he, he, I would go, what was happening? He goes, I was just running around going, dogs aren't fucking worth it. Dogs aren't fucking worth it. This isn't fucking worth it. I'm going to get birds. Dogs aren't fucking worth it. <laughs> um, and so... Then uh, he comes upstairs. We can't find the puppy. And then we look to the right. And the puppy was against the wall. Just like the puppy almost had a look in his face like, what the fuck just happened? And the puppy just found like this corner and was just like ran away. It was just hiding. hiding. Yeah. That puppy's sweet. It, it's He's going to be big. He's a big, tough dog, but he's got a real sweet disposition. What do we and, think his name is? I like Bob. For Bob Saget. I like Bob for Bob Saget. Our problem, I, of course, Emily noticed, I misspelled Bob Saget's name on my caption last night. I did too. S, did you do S-A-G-A-T? No, I did I'm, that. Not, I'm not an asshole. Oh, I didn't I'm, do it on purpose. I was just rushed. I oh. did S-A-G-E-L because I tried to make a quote and I just didn't, I like, it's the L, it's like, I went to do Saget right. in quotes and right. I just had hit L. But no, the only reason is because he was programming my phone as Saget forever. So I just, right. I, you know. Right. We now take a break in talking about. Shh, the break. <laughs> they don't want to hear it anymore. It's they're breaking. Benton, uh, it now comes the time where we stop talking about important things to talk about <laughs> Benton Benton's, to talk to, to mm -hmm. Benton's decor. <laughs> yeah. I, Article. Is a sponsor, and you guys know we love Article, and I have been decorating. You moved into a new place. I did. I have been decorating my place with Article, and I love it because my favorite thing about Article is when people go walk into my house, they go, do you live here? Because they're so impressed. Tell us everything about... I've gotten my couch from there. I've gotten this beautiful, like, pink marble crystal like table that has these like gold settings it takes your breath away article this direct to consumer company combines the curation of a boutique furni furni a furniture store a boutique furniture <laughs> store from Sweden <laughs> with the comfort it's the most beautiful furniture it's all the land it's Swedish inspired and Emily wishes she was Swedish so she's, she's blonde she's like I'm blonde I'm Swedish <laughs> with a furniture store a furniture she rips st this off with a later hosen a furniture store a curation of a boutique furniture store with the comfort and simplicity of shopping online. Article's team of designers focuses on beautifully crafted pieces, quality materials, and durable construction. Affordable shipping is available across the USA and Canada. And it's free for all orders over $9.99. And Article is offering our listeners $50 off your first, <laughs> off your first purchase of $100 or more. Go to article.com slash Whitney and the Whitney. discount will be offered. Automatically apply to checkout. That's article.com slash Whitney to get $50 off your first purchase of $100 or more. Thank you so much for shopping. And I know what you're thinking. You, Again? <laughs> you want to say, you want to say goodbye, but to that I say hello. Fresh. Fresh, 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 fresh. When you think Whitney Cummings, what do you think? Fresh. Do you know what I'm thinking? What? I'm thinking, I, if you had breast milk, would you cook with it? <laughs> Would you be like, creamer lover? Is that it considered if, dairy? I, yeah. if HelloFresh made a breast milk farm fresh pre-proportioned ingredient and it involved breast milk that was seasonal and delivered right to my door, the answer is yes, I Blueberry would. Blueberry booby muffins? Like, grocery stores? Over it. Eh, for what? Mm -hmm. Canceled. Mm -hmm. Grocery stores, you're canceled. Yep, heard it here first. Mm -hmm. Bye. Right. You abused your power. I have to get a, a buggy or a cart, whatever you guys call them. I'm I sorry. I have to get a cart. I have to walk in. I have, get, to, I have to get COVID. I have to pack the cart up. Then I have to go to self checkout. I have to leave the house. Mm -mm. I know. No, thank get you. trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one. Meal kit. HelloFresh delivers pre portioned ingredients to your door, including farm fresh produce that arrives within a week. week. So you get convenience without skimping on the quality. quality. Do you know what that means? That means there's a farmer out there every week growing vegetables just for you. It's he single. Check farmersonly.com. That's a different ad. Skip the trip to the grocery store. Your husband's not there. Save the time. Don't wait in these long holiday lines. Don't be a scrub. Ensure you don't waste money on excess food. You're better than that. Mm -hmm. HelloFresh offers the flexibility you need to easily customize your order online or in the app. Easily change your delivery day, food preferences, 
prices and plan size or skip a week whenever you need to. You owe it to yourself. Go to HelloFresh.com slash GoodForYou16 and use code GoodForYou16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Again, go to HelloFresh.com slash GoodForYou16 and use code GoodForYou16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Gifts. HelloFresh, that's why it's America's number one meal kit. So Emily is not a dog person unless it looks like a panda. That's okay. What does that mean? Like a panda? So did it go, Pat? Like a small dog? Like a panda? She's a panda person. You like pandas? Yeah. Will you come just explain it while he's getting they could this? Be, they could be a little mean so too, So Emily's pandas. done stand-up twice, uh-huh. and one of her bits, her opener was, so I'm not a dog person, I don't get it or like them. Pause. Mm-hmm. And then she was, I'm a panda person because they just, they know how to live. They just lay around and extinct themselves. <laughs> so you can get a, um, I don't, you can get a dog paint from China that looks like a panda. And that's my, that's, your that's the only go-to. kind of dog I'd want. But I'd still want it to wear shoes and learn how to use a, a bathroom. And I would never let it walk around outside and then get in my bed with its bare feet. Because do you walk around barefoot and then get in your bed? My dogs don't get on my bed. Yeah. Okay. All right. Right. This is it. This is it. Yeah. By the way, this is why um, all of us have such shitty immune systems. We don't play in sandboxes anymore and we don't let dirt in our That's bed. a good point. Yeah. I'm good. Also, I have clean sheets though. And I still love my dog. My okay, dog sleeps right. in a dog bed. So Nikki Glazer's a bird person. I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I'm doing a rescue um, to help rescue birds and i'm like then just open the cage yeah right <laughs> so it's like cranes and i'm like okay the oil spills in cranes i get that but birds i'm like you can't attune to that like they're i just I, do I, any of you guys like human babies that's emily emily likes a human that's emily yeah so emily amanda knox was here with her baby mm-hmm. babies to me are just i don't I, they're just not cooked yet and i, I think they're been they're born too early mm-hmm. we need they need like a couple more i just can't I'm too rough and too, I can't only have something around me that can hold its head up on its own. Right. Because I don't have time for you to like be that weak. <laughs> and there's a hole in their head, like their skull's not Yeah, done. it takes a little while to hold so them up. So if I yeah. can touch a brain through a little piece of skin, like yeah. the way I am with puppies, Emily is with babies. Right. Do you so, have a baby? Oh. She's too good for, like she's every, she's the super nanny that is like, I'm the most qualified to have a child, but because I'm so not selfish, I'm going to wait till it's the perfect time. And 40 is the new 30 for women. It Brid- is. Bridget Fetessy got pregnant naturally at 43. My mom had me at 43. Yeah, yeah. huge. So we're- you? I'm, I'm, I'm a mess. And your eyes are yeah. that close together. They're very close together. <laughs> Cyclops cult, where are you at? <laughs> what is it, blind Stamos? It's uh, special needs Stamos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're we're definitely on different ends of the Greek spectrum so genetically. I was wrong about birds. So as Emily pointed, educated me, crows can recognize faces. Yeah, they hold grudges. They're for f- bitches, crows. Well, if They're you f- bitches. if you feed them, they'll start bringing you gifts, and they are using tools. So as Emily said. When, Wait, you told me crows can do card tricks. Well, David Blaine. Yeah, I don't buy it. Sent me a video. When, uh, where a crow, and I, it's magic. So what I think is they made the cards have it smell like something. Or, right, or, it's gotta be that. Or they just, or the cards were rigged, which is fine. We love magic, we love magic here. We love, we love magic. Um, so the crow would go pick a card like out of a deck. I don't think I'm allowed to say someone's tricks, a magician's tricks. So let me not fuck this up. Let me shut up, let me shut my whole mouth. This is where I have to shut my- Yeah, whatever happened, the crow picked the cards. The crow picked the card and knew yeah. what was an ace, a diamond, or a heart. Right. So, you know, but crows whatever are Whatever you want to believe. So crows are incredibly smart, and they, Emily knows how to say this, We together we will. For the amount of time they've been evolving, they're further along in their evolutionary journey than we are in ours. I don't know if I buy that. Okay, then Emily will find the article. Uh, and are crows going to uh, so inf- space? Hold on, Infowars.com. So you're saying in the future, crows are going to be like in spaceships? Yes. 
Or not. Well, we all will be the meteor yeah. will have hit. So we're, yeah. we don't even need it. I don't know, dude. I don't see it happening. I don't think crows are going to outcompete no, the, us in evolution. But that's because you're going extinct and you're just kind of petulant about it. Because I'm a white man. We definitely already but, extinct. Not you, but yeah. you're good. You get yeah. to stay. I'm grandfathered in. We're in an evolutionary pivot. Right. And the people who are good to the the women, women. the children, yeah. they stay. Right. You know? Right. And the ones that didn't ab abuse their privilege. Stay. Right. You stay. We need you. So I'm good? But, dude, white in, men and hold on. Let me, in defense- First of all, I'm Greek. Am I white? Is Greek white? Can I be less white? I know, all my friends are like, I'm Armenian. I'm, I'm like 2% Armenian. Uh, everyone's in their 23 mean half Native yeah. American. Like, if that's what you need to do to get into college, fine. College is a scam. It was it was never fair. Yeah. I'm like so pro the college admission scandal is ridiculous. It's yeah. like, it's never been, it's not, no. as soon as there's SATs, which cause you have to pay to take, it's already a fucking sham. Yeah. And oh, you didn't get into USC. Oh, bummer. You don't have to pay $80,000 in school loans for the rest of your life. Like, yeah. take the win. Yeah, you got a history degree, which qualifies you to be a history teacher. And that was my dad. So really quick story about me and then we'll do birds and then we'll pick this up later if we, if we need to. So um, we're starting our own podcast. So my dad, this is how my dad um, uh, used to make me study for tests in order to be able to watch 90210 in Melrose Place. I not only had to know um, the names of the chapters in each book. Uh, so he would quiz me. Spanish Armada, Spanish Inquisition, Lois and Clark, Battle of Lois Le and Clark. What I say, Lois? No, you said Lois and Clark. It's Lewis and Clark. Yeah, but I like Lois too. I like to think that there was a chick there, like with the, Clark. <laughs> there was a woman that was doing Instead the actual two lonely work. Dudes. She didn't get named, so there I think was, that was a an woman. Indian with them, right? Wasn't there an Indian woman? I'm sorry, Native American. Can I tell you something? Yeah. No one. Everyone talks about Hitler. No one talks about Leni Riefenstahl, who actually made that all happen. Who? <laughs> the the filmmaker. Lenny Reifenstahl made. So, so can we pull the Nazis not, happen? No, she was the, the she made the propaganda films. Oh, I thought that was uh, so, Goebbels. Well, I mean, she was who, like I guess doing all the editing because editing was sewing. Right. So she did the shooting and editing because you had to edit it together. Say what you want. He supported female filmmakers. Um, I don't know if it was sewing either. I don't know if editing was sewing. It is sewing. It was pieces they would clip of film. Them. Yeah, but they you would clip them, but then you have to sew them together, tiny, with tiny. With string. So, uh, so okay. okay. So editors started as women because it was sewing. It was tiny finger stuff. It was women stuff, and not anymore. So okay. I'll go with it. Yeah, they um, were all, all editors were women. Not all, but, but it started you, why them. do you have to go black and white? It like it doesn't it not it do, or true or most false. of them. Yeah. So Leni Reifenstahl, uh, Helene Bertha Emil Leni Reifenstahl, I'm sure was a German film director, photographer, and actress known for her seminal role in producing Nazi propaganda. A talented swimmer and artist, Reif Reifenstahl also became interested in dancing during her childhood, taking lessons and performing across Europe. That means she got molested by some fucking Polish dancing teacher. It's fine. Um <sighs> Ravenstahl became one of the few women in Germany to direct film during the we Weimar period, W E I M A R. Weimar. Weimar. Uh, in 1932, period. she decided to try directing her own film, Das Blue Licht, The Blue Light. Pretty natural to you, that German. Um, I hope I have some, like, just the good part. Yeah. In the 1930s, she directed Nazi propaganda films, Triumph de Willens. Oh, that's a big one. Triumph that was a big the one Will for them. That was the and big Olympia. Propaganda. She directed that. Wow, a woman directed that. Nazis were very progressive in some ways. S d damaged her career and reputation after she made her involvement in Triumph de Willens, however, significantly damaged her career and reputation. Hitler was in close collaborations with Riefenstahl. So the, the rumors, they were together. And uh, I think he was, I don't think he was having much sex. It was like a Epstein and, and Ghislaine and like he was, she was procuring like the math. You know what I mean? It was like some yeah. fucked up symbiotic. Some bad. Um, and so uh, my dad would say, you know, Korean War, da, da da You have to name the dates, name the dates. So let's just make up a thing. Significant things happen to make up a weird date. 1376. One, significant thing number two. Uh, d d the year two BC. The year two BC. The year two BC. What, what, like he would he would oh. quiz me so hard. The year two BC, Nero's doing something. Yes, exactly. Some Roman guy, yeah. So yeah, and then now, Spanish Inquisition. S sandals were invented. So that you couldn't, you could do it with your eyes closed. Yeah. And, and... Like golfers, not only can I do it, if there's wind, if there's someone yelling, cunt, you suck. So if I go to the test. What kind of golf course is that? Where someone's yelling, cunt, you suck while you're playing golf. All of them? Is gentlemen only, ladies forbidden, <laughs> real? Is golf the acronym actually gentlemen only, ladies forbidden? I just feel forbidden? like you get kicked out of the course if someone said, cunt, you suck. But can you answer my question? What is the question? The word golf. Yes. Does it stand for gentlemen only, ladies forbidden? 
I'm going to say yes. That's the rumor. I'm not sure if that's what, let's. That It's like a rumor, but it's very, the word golf is not an acronym for anything. Rather, it derives linguistically from the Dutch word golf or golf, meaning quite simply club. Yeah, it just the, sounds like you read a Jezebel article once and it said that. <laughs> I'm just saying, if if I was in a business that named it golf, gentlemen, only is lady forgiven, f- ladies forgiven. Ladies forgiven. <laughs> for being ladies. <laughs> I would then go, no, it wasn't based on anything. I would just, right. we'd go, shh, guys, not, new truth. We change it now. Right, 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 right. So my dad would quiz me on the thing. I knew everything backwards and forwards. I, I, I'm, I'm changing Lewis to Lois because there was some bitch that was making it happen. Wait, Oregon <laughs> Trail, ba, ba, ba. And then, um, ba, 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 ba. And then he put the book down and I'm like, and then I have to watch Melrose Place. So you got tiger mommed by but, your dad. But then he would look at the book and they go, well, how do we know the book is right? Right. You're going to memorize all this? Right. Even if it's wrong to right. fucking w- stick the landing? Carry right. Strug with a smile on your face? Broken ankle? Because he would say, when did Columbus discover America? 1492? Uh, 1492. The, Whatever. He, he and then he would go. Sail the ocean blue. And then he would go, well, he didn't discover it, but Leif Erikson discovered it when? But actually, like, he would tell me the real history, but you need to know this for the test. Right. You have to go take the fake test. Right. right. So, so he gave you the test. He gave you the knowledge for the test to pass the man's test, but also he he made you woke at the same time. But it was funny. Was it, was Your it, dad was, sounds like he was woke. No, but it wasn't woke. He just, like, goes, there's no way this is true because it's all written, history is written by the winners. Like, this isn't what actually happened, but that's okay. So it's, like, my whole thing of, like, when people take their dogs to get, um, I almost said caramelized. Emily didn't like that at they, all. They have the Korean dog meat festival. Oh, and they put caramel on them? No, it was, that was a, just a joke. Oh. Because I miss, so jokes, like, if you are talking about something and then you do like a Freudian slip and it just happens to kind of lean into the horrible stereotype, it. No, but they do eat dogs over, the, like, dogs do are they do? eating. Yeah, they do eat dogs. Where, what? <laughs> they do? Yeah, I know you're Tell joking. me about it. Yeah. No, they eat them. Yeah. I spend most of my like off time. Well, training. what are we going to do about it, Whitney? I'm on That's it. the point. You have to give the dog I meat I mean, farm. you're saying we're going to be leaders. We're going to be leaders. But like, are we going to fucking if over you, there? If, me and you. But I, it, by the way, I'm. it's it's not, if you don't let me f- just tell you, in the amount of time um, you did that, I could have just. Okay, tell me. So we're going to give the people that do the dog meat farming uh, skills to do another job because they do it to feed their kids and they don't have a choice. Right. So the 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 hunters in Are Africa. podcasts? Oh, shit. I need to get into the Asian market. I mean, right. that is the natural next. Just send them podcast equipment and say, just do, <laughs> just do this. Talk about how. So it, yeah, what they they cut off the feet and without killing it. It's 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 brutal. I know. But, I hate it. But they do respect their elders, and we eat pigs. So they think it's like a lot of people think it's weird that we eat pigs. It's and not a black and white world. It's not. The Nazis were actually very progressive with animal rights. It's a hard thing to as long as they can dominate and control them. Those weren't animal rights. But they were very progressive with animals. Which suck because they did a lot of other horrible but they stuff. Use, but they also use the animals to look like better people. Holding a dog just makes you seem like you're... So villains always have a fucking cat or something to make them look... Psychopaths, no. If I have animals around me, they'll think I'm better so than I So villains always have a cat. Look how he loves this dog. He can't Dr. be that Dr. Evil bad. has a cat, but... Yeah, the skin one. I don't trust anyone that doesn't have a dog. Right. Except Emily. Emily because she wants the panda dog and we just haven't gotten it yet. Yeah. But this, I think, might be Emily's animal so i got birds wrong i got birds wrong uh-huh. no watch you're the one that's obsessed with crows your natural inclination is birds because you know you know why because you'll never have a heartbreak because this bird's 22 and it's going to live to 70 it'll outlive you you have to put it in your will now watch this this is a bird essie who has a relationship with someone else i have a relationship with that person very close at my farm it took me like 40 minutes to get him on essie on me Hi. Watch. Looks at his mom. Hi. I want my mom. Yeah. I'm going to put my foot out so that you, you'll you catch me because I trust you. Watch. Hi, Hi mom. Now I want to get to my mom. I'm not going to try to be. I'm not yeah. going to try to be. Get off me, mom. bitch. That was that, that's what that was. I don't trust you. Yeah, I don't trust you, bitch. Watch. Boundary received. Going to see I'm his mom. Give you back to your mama. I think, we sh- I think she wants mom. She definitely wanted mom. <laughs> Looked me in the eye. Hi. Hi, mom. Yeah. It's a little freaky when you see birds speak English. <laughs> They're dinosaurs. Yeah. They recognize faces. He knew I was- They're smart. 
And so we tried to do an arm thing where we just transferred her from one arm to the other thinking it was her. And she was like, they know. They have the intelligence of three to four-year-old toddlers. And uh, you have to greet them differently. So I'm like, hi, Essie. And she goes, no, no, no. You have to greet her as Whitney. And you need to just, she needs to learn your voice and get a code. This is like, I'm like, oh, this is like a baby. Yeah. Is that not wild? They're, di- they're, they're dinosaurs. Yeah. Is, that's a parrot, right? That was a that parrot? That I think is a cockatiel. cockatiel. We'd have to look it up. It, I it mean, was a cockatiel, yeah. We're still fighting over whether it was a hawk or a falcon. Or that was definitely a red, hawk. Red that was a red-tailed hawk. So we've I've got a red-tailed... Are you, there must be a female then because we have two red-tailed hawks. Aren't they s- sigmas? Like, they're, they're usually... They're stigmas. Owls are usually in pairs. So I've got two owls, a white one and a brown one. Very progressive interracial owl couple. <laughs> and, well, they are colorblind. But, um, and that's the thing. Animals are colorblind. They don't, yeah. And they don't care what you do for a living. They don't care... Would that fix a problem if we just like... Started taking lessons. At birth, we just made everyone colorblind. <sighs> well, now black people are like, we finally started getting ahead, and now, <laughs> now, now you want to get rid of the now colors. you want to get rid of the colors. Yeah. That's it. That's my whole thing with Bitcoin. It's like, oh, now that you're losing, you want to change the game. We, I just learned le- regular money. We all just learned regular money. Right now, you're going to change it just because right. you're losing. Right. I don't know if I like that. Do you own any Bitcoin? No. You have zero. Zero. Are you worried about that? I am because I don't. I don't like anything. It, and I, I'm doing a big Bitcoin convention next year. Of course, I'm gonna get it at some point. Right. To participate because it's gonna revolutionize uh, economies in Africa, like the places it's needed, like Argentina, who the bank system is. You have a thousand dollars. You wake up the next morning and you just have no dollars. Like so, I don't need it for me. We don't need it for us, right? But I think that it's going to revolutionize. Um, uh, it's going to give access to the people who banks wouldn't give loans to. And, you know, and hot take, the mafia can operate. I've in heard some- a lot of mafia this week. So today, so I, mafia, it feels like a week, but I've only been here for 12 hours. I know hours. mafia gets a bad rap, <laughs> but the mafia is, their thing is we step in where the government fails. Right. And the government is failing more than I've ever seen in our lifetime. So we need the mafia back. The mafia needs to co- deal with the homeless thing. They'll give all those motherfuckers jobs at the meat shops and the dry cleaners and like the mafia. I mean, that there's that um, great documentary about the mafia in the 70s mm-hmm. and they were all at the subway. I love how bullish you are on the mafia right now. But but the new mafia is probably going to be because the government's over. Right. It's it's collapsed. Right. Who's going to step up? The news is broken. Right. Podcasters are stepping up. Right. It doesn't have to be Italian mafia, right? Just like some type of mafia. So I, I don't, you would, this is your area of expertise. This is my area of expertise. <laughs> Mine and, and Stefano too, but like, if the mafia can move in silence like lasagna and not, because they can't, as soon as it was like, everything's being tracked, Siri, like mafia can't, it has to all be in person. Right. So, but there's an Alexa around, your phone is off. Like we have to go. They do do some bad stuff to, to the Correct. mafia. Yeah. Agree. But, the, extort- but the government doesn't. <laughs> The right, government no, they, doesn't, so they do bad stuff too. Well, they mainly do. they they because they own all. Is anyone good? That's a that's a real. It's philosophical not about good. Question. It's about about you've seen Succession, the What's, show Succession on HBO. No, I haven't. That'll seen That'll answer all of our questions. It's just it's not about good bad. It's about like can you do better than the person that came before you? Just right. do better than that person. Even if that if that person before you was a murderer, just murder well, better. Th- and assume they had a reason. That it right. served their self-interest and the interest of the pack at the time. Right. It's not okay today to just, if someone disagrees with you, to share. At the time, it's what needed to happen. Right. You know what I mean? And then- But that can't be used for all things. But the repression of women. We, you know what it is? Right. Well, that one- That did have to happen. There's a lot of good points to be because made. Because take it as a compliment. Because women were talking too much. Well, they were too, effect- I mean, I'm writing this thing about um, uh, why, so young girls, so a friend of mine has a five-year-old mm-hmm. and I was like playing with her and she is a warrior, like, of like, so my thing with young girls, I always go, try to take me to the ground. Just anything you need to do. Wait a second. Anything you need to with do. With little children, you you want to, you want to fight them? No, I say get my, i'm standing up straight yeah get me to the floor you have a big advantage though you're you're an adult but wait <laughs> but just wait there's weight classes for a reason so she um you call me fat I'm, no I, i'm a know, featherweight i'm not a featherweight you're actually in good shape but I'm just saying if you're you an let adult. me finish my story i would just interject you'll get I'm all play, the answers you I'm need just playing devil's advocate i ha- has okay okay we got it. So you're fighting a kid no I'm sorry, one's continue. more of a devil's advocate for myself than me yeah i, I got you okay 
Remember this? If you have a question, if you have a question, you can raise your hand. Oh, that way. Okay. (laughs) Not that way. Yours was yeah. Yours was you got to go really (laughs) straight up. It was. It was really straight up. Yeah. Which you need. not sure about some of the things. Which you need to be doing anyway. You can be stretching right now. Yoga. So um, there is a thin line between yoga and hailing. It's like a yawn. There's a thin line between a yawn and a hail. By the way, Warrior One is, I mean, it's- Yeah, it's almost there. I don't love it. I don't love- <laughs> It's it's, so it's, an, it's an inch. It's, it's an like, inch off. It's a di- difference yeah. between- You have to be in really good shape yeah. to make it not one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, man, can't we- No, we can't do that either. We can't do a bald fist either. No. Shit. Yeah. It's um, close. I'm just saying this is why we line. now do air guns. Just always. Um, yeah. So you're fighting the kid. So no, the kid I just, <laughs> so I'm beating up my friend's daughter. <laughs> no, so this was it. So I go, get me to the ground because you can do it. And she goes, <sighs> I see her thinking. I love watching young girls and boys like think and like, cause it's just all their epigenetic imprinting and ansa, right? So uh, she looks at, at me and she runs out of the room and brings back her dad. And goes, help me. And I go, no, no, no. We don't ask the man for help. You don't need his help. Goodbye. Maybe she was scared of you? <laughs> you were asking her to fight. When a bird did this, you were impressed with the bird. When a child does this... I wonder if I'm ever going to finish tra- this story. No, it was what she was doing, she was trying to... She's trying to imprint on this girl to be a strong woman. That's right. I just don't know if these methods are legal. Let me just finish. Is it legal to okay, fight a girl? She, a she, she tried. She grabbed my ass. I was. I had no interest in her. She, she was way too old for me. She was five. I'm, if I was a child and a grown woman asked me to even, fight, I may get my dad. I can't even. I, get, I'm just saying. I see your point. It, well, by the way, and here's the other thing. Here's my mistake. <laughs> because I took a shortcut. It wasn't her dad. It was like another dad there. Uh, okay. So I should have said that. It doesn't matter. Did she get you down? So, well, so and also she's too old for me because she can't give me the baby blood. She's too old for baby blood. Right. So she can live. You can live. Right. Um, what is that sweet spot for the baby blood? I don't know. Oh, okay. It's only based on, there was a rumor going around that w- we were getting facials that were from circumcised baby dicks. It's not true. It was placenta, bovine placenta that people were putting in cream. <laughs> oh. And um, like Epicurean has it, Kate Somerville has it. It's like a placenta cream, oh. and and then it turned into, into baby yeah, yeah. These are from the same morons that it's a eat, game of telephone that eat their placenta in LA, right? And they make them and put them in smoothies. So like, well, dogs do it, yeah. They also eat their own shit. They eat the placenta so that the predators don't smell blood. So that's where it started, the that's, baby blood thing. Yeah, yeah. And, and there's more, obviously. Also, right. men hate us. They, right. The predator just hates. It's just. Like, we need new ways to call her ugly and green. Like, we just don't like her. Right. Um, yeah, someone came up to me in the airport and was like, it was like three girls. And they were like, we heard you put baby blood on your face to stay young. And I was like. What are three-year-olds doing on fucking three Reddit? Three girls oh. uh, in an airport. Oh, okay. Stick with me, Alzheimer's. Stick uh, with me, yeah, Alzheimer's. I do have, I do have brain injuries. I'm Let's sorry. Let's go, Alzheimer's. <laughs> um, and they were like, we hear that you drink baby blood or, right. or put it on your face. And I was like, then why are you talking to me? Right. <laughs> You know what I mean? You yeah. know, you know, I, you know, I don't, which is why you're talking to me. Right. So last thing. They were just so, being bitches. So, and then we're going to go, we have Gigi Gorgeous and yeah. then we'll pick this up later if we want. We'll just keep going. We're going to pick no, this up. No, the second guest is here and she is a trans woman and she's in charge now. She's in charge. So we are on the sidelines. So she, um. She's a piece So too. the girl jumps on me. She's clawing at me. She ju- moves a chair next to me. Jumps on my back. Right. I'm, I'm just trying to get her to problem solve and learn, learn, learn. <laughs> And I go, and, this, and my plan, this is my plan. Yeah. My plan is to eventually just be like, oh, oh, like to make her, you know? And then she's like walking around me. It's like, it's been like 10 minutes. <laughs> she's behind me. And I'm like, oh, fuck, she's behind me. Like, uh, like uh, what's going to happen? And I'm waiting for like a monkey, like a flying monkey to come in. She goes between my legs, head and my knees. Foo! Head butts me in the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stunned. Can we name I, this episode that? <laughs> that I go down on my knees out of utter shock. Yeah. And then she jumps on me and I'm down. Just, sh- she was like, that I. That little girl knows how to problem solve. I was like, I was like, this is, I'm going to pretend she's doing it and just came in. Boom. It was, and by the way, she had um little like, um, like pigtails that had the the rubber bands that have balls on them. You know yeah. how kids, girls do? So there were these two like me- like plastic balls hit me like in the pussy lips and, and took me down. That is a, that was a fair fight. So um, I'm going to go say hi to Gigi and you close out the show. Please. Thank you.
<laughs> okay. And do your um talk about the sports show. Yeah. Where- Whitney has her methods on teaching children and raising dogs. You don't necessarily have to follow them. Um, they're good point. You know, you can use them as a roadmap. You don't necessarily have to follow them verbatim. If you want to teach a child how to problem solve, there's a lot of options that are available through the education system um, that don't involve getting headbutted in the pussy lips or uh, challenging a child to a fight. You don't have to really do that. And if you want to train your dog to pee, you don't necessarily have to go pee first outside to show the dog what it's doing. You can just kind of take the dog to the pee spot and the dog, I think, will relieve himself. But if you want to make it funner, then go ahead and take a pee with that dog. Put a camera Listen on to my podcast. So put a camera on Giannis's penis right now because... This hi, Gigi, hi. gorgeous. Hi, this, how are you? Good, how are you? Hi, Gigi, nice to meet you. So good, I was playing with your pit bull. <laughs> so cute. Come sit here. I'm about to sit down, but this is just the end of his podcast. Okay. And this I is would actually, like yeah, it's mine now. You had a good run. Yeah, it's over. It's over. It's over. Hi, Angel. Your replacement is here. <laughs> She's here. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. You know that the the natural next progression was now the trans women just take over. It's just our. It's <laughs> it, it's, I mean, it's it's our time. It's, it's your time. time. It's never not been our time. It's yeah. all the your strengths oh, and my so strengths cute. plus like I, like. This is hey. this is our leader now. <laughs> just we're, we're both passing the baton. We're passing the baton to the next one. So yeah. we're just saying, did you um, log out? Don't write elephants. Yeah. Well, I, I gave a nice little speech. I gave a disclaimer. I would say it's a disclaimer. You know what? You can be. I a, gave a disclaimer. You have a backup plan. You can be a mall Santa. I okay. You don't. Well, not, I don't trust uh-huh. mall Santas. She's yeah. Well, they made I, me funny by molesting me. Yeah. We think. Oh look. <laughs> yes, boy. So um, we have backup plans. Like I'll be the mall. I'll be Mrs. Claus, you can and we'll work in the mall. Absolutely. And yes. then I might need a photo of this, guys. Oh, this yeah. is really cute. Okay, hold on. We gotta get Frankie in it. Yeah, with like your dog. Come here. Hold on. Just get. Them. Oh, here we go. Hi. Wait, are you in it? Yep. Yeah. Let's take a family shot. <laughs> it's cute. Chosen family. Uh huh. I'm sending it. Chosen family. By the way, married to a getty. Excuse me. Oh yes, Nat's my hubby. Nice. Yes. Yes. Obsessed with that. Like, right? Or, but that's when it's like, oh, right, royalty. So we'll talk about the podcast, but if there's a single Getty, just we'll... I got him. Uh, we'll, oh, yeah. there is maybe a um, hundred. So, the family is huge. So we will do a two for the price of one pussy tightening if we... Like, whatever I need Killing to it. do. Maybe a class yes. Just tell us when. Oh, yeah, speak for myself. Okay, I <laughs> Come on, beef curtains. I'm going to bring the pussy to go, I, I need hers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I love you. Every time you're here... It gets wild. It just I, gets wild. I don't wild. even know how we're going to put this together. That wasn't a nightmare. I don't, you cut two things out. The end? How the end? <laughs> it was great. Was I was special. there. There are no endings. There's no endings. There's just beginnings. That was the, my favorite yeah. po- podcast almost we've done for a while. Oh, love incredible. that. Yeah, but if you hate, did thing. you cry? If no, you hate it, it's probably good. Fear. Oh. If you hate yeah. it, I Which feel like it's good. Okay, so can this we is just my do some kind trick for no foundation. Some kind of what is that? Becca? Come on. Don't what? Bop, bop, bop. Come on. Oh, angel. Don't write elephants. Why? I said it. Don't write elephants. Perfect.